Okay, so to operate the press, my paper is here. And actually, I'm going to turn it off at first. When I pull it off, then it actually is not going to print because I just want to show you how this works. You get it started right here with your hand on this big wheel and you push the wheel away from you. It's quite big, it's quite heavy, it takes a heft to get it going. But our goal is to not have to use our hand and the wheel very much. Once the machine gets going, this treadle, this foot pedal, is going to start coming up and down. And I'm going to kind of rest my foot on it. I just rest it lightly at first and I'm going to kind of get a feel for it. And the goal is that essentially as the pedal starts going down, I'm going to push down forcefully. And then as it comes up, I'm just going to ride it up. And one of my students described it as uh, bike pedals. Now I know if you're a serious biker that you both push down and pull up. Um, but for casual biking, you tend to push as the pedals are going down and just kind of ride them on the way up. You don't want to try and force it down when it's trying to come up. Um, so let me just show you what that looks like. We start it with our hand, the pedal starts going up and down, and I can keep it going. I'm not actually exerting that much force. It's really about getting the rhythm of it. As long as I'm pushing as it goes down, it will keep running. And if you're really talented uh, with the press, you learn to essentially take the paper off, put a new piece of paper on, take the paper off, put a new piece of paper on every time the press opens and closes. And you can make a lot of prints really quickly. Part of the virtue of the press is that speed, right? It's really labor intensive to set all that type as you'll learn. But once it's set, we can make lots and lots of copies really quickly. So I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to make a print. When it's on, you hear a little chunk, I'm going to pull the brake. You can see that we've made a print.